2021 Volkswagen Atlas Review. But before we start, please support us by pressing the like and subscribe buttons so that we can continue to provide information about car and motorcycle news. Also turn on the bell button to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. The 2021 Volkswagen Atlas is the largest vehicle the company has ever sold in the US, a curious offering from a company that once extolled the virtues of buying the compact Beetle over a comparatively huge Chevy Biscayne. A few styling and interior updates for 2021 bring the Atlas more in line with its funky, Teutonic forebears, but it's still a distinctly American product, reflecting the changing values of VW and its buyers. Unfortunately, it meets those consumer needs with none of the elan and poise that was once a hallmark of every Volkswagen product. Perfectly average styling and driving behavior draw no ire, and we applaud the Atlas available advanced technology features and spacious interior. But former Volkswagen owners will find themselves let down by the SUV's disappointingly plasticky interior and forgettable, if inoffensive, styling. Nevertheless, the seven-seat Atlas is VW's number three vehicle in terms of sales, and we appreciated its overall competence during a test of an Cell V6 4 motion model with the Basecamp accessory kit. The 2021 Volkswagen Atlas is an okay-looking machine, particularly since its facelift did away with the blocky front end that made it look heavy and ungainly. A more delicately styled grille, beveled headlights, and nearly horizontal hood help the Atlas look more German. To this author's eyes, the front end somehow recalls the lauded Golf MK4 sold in the early 2000s. The side profile and rear views are all but unchanged for 2021, with slightly redesigned taillights and not much else. The vehicle we drove added the Basecamp accessory kit, which includes a satin silver front bumper guard, dark fender extensions with splash guards, satin silver rocker panels, a satin silver rear valance with a trailer hitch cutout, and unique base camp badges. It also sports 1552 Traverse MX 17-inch wheels. The dealer installed base camp kit cost $2,500, plus another $1,000 for the wheels. It looks nice, but a little suspension lift and some taller rubber would really sell the accessories off-road pretensions more. Things start to go wrong once you step inside. We've groused about the Atlas cabin since it debuted for 2018, and we really hope to see some improvements when it came time to update the big SUV. That's not the case. Hard plastics abound inside the Atlas, soft touch appears only sparingly on the armrests, dash top, and upper door panels. Otherwise, everything below the vehicle's belt line is done up in materials that look and feel decidedly low rent, with sharp-edged plastic seams. Every other competitor, save perhaps the Ford Explorer, is better in this regard. At least the interior is rather handsome, headlined by a Volkswagen digital cockpit gauge cluster and a crisp, angular dash design. Our testers' perforated leatherette upholstery also looked and felt very premium, offering a compelling and environmentally friendly reason to never choose cowhide again. Somehow, the Atlas features large crossover interior space and a midsize footprint. Front passengers have more than enough space to get comfortable on a long trip, though the cushy, heated seats might be a bit too shapeless for all-day support. The second row seats slide fore and aft, and in their forward-most position, there's enough space for kids and young teens, adults will want to kick them back a few notches. The bench is flat as a pancake, but tall folks will appreciate a seat bottom that's long enough for some thigh support. The tilt and slide release affords third row access even with a child seat installed. Major kudos go to VW for raising the third row bench up off the cargo floor, the higher hip point improving comfort even for adult passengers. Owing to its decently spacious third row and sliding second row, the Atlas would be a good option for a family of five or six, with class competitive head and the groom in all three rows. Loading it down with seven passengers might be a bit tight owing to its slightly pinched shoulder room, but if you have to haul that many people, you're probably shopping for a minivan anyway.
Thanks for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.